model isn't forever. You can flatten it, extract its edges, and its faces. The flatten command takes a 3D model and squishes it down to a 2D representation made out of ellipses and polylines. It works best in an orthographic view, so let's try doing it first in the top view. I'm going to enter in the flatten command. Ask me which entities. I say all. Press enter. It still looks the same until you start to orbit it. And then you can see that it is truly flat. I'll repeat it this time in a side view. Make that a little bit smaller. Repeat the command. All entities. But this time it looks more confusing. That's because flatten doesn't remove hidden lines. Using the orbit command, we see that the result truly is 2D. BricsCAD has a more sophisticated version of the flatten command called FlatShot. And when you enter it in, it comes up with this dialog box. So it will uh, do the same thing, flatten the 3D model into a 2D one using the current viewpoint but this time it'll make it a block and it'll display the hidden lines by a different line pattern or by a different color. So let's take these values here, click OK. So you can see that the um, visible lines are shown in green, the hidden lines in gray. We may need to use the LT scale command to change the line type scale so that the uh, dashed lines are visible. The orbit command shows that the result is 2D. The X edges command is a step up in sophistication from the two previous ones, but before I use it, I suggest a little prep work. In particular, because X edges places the entities on the current layer, I suggest you create a new current layer. In this case, I've called it X edges and colored it red so you can tell it apart. Now I enter the X edges command. Ask me to select entities, so I enter in all to select all of them. Press enter to continue and the conversion has taken place. You can see something's going on by the red lines. So let's see exactly what by freezing the original layer that held the turbine part. When we pass the cursor over it, we see that the uh, result is made of circles and 3D splines. When you use the orbit command, you can see that it is truly 3D product, but because it's strictly a wireframe, no visual styles apply to it, nor can hidden lines be made from it. The X faces command takes things up yet another notch. It takes the faces from a 3D solid and turns them into surfaces. So it operates differently from the X edges command, even though it seems to share the same name. So I've entered in X faces. You notice there's an option there. It says move and you'll find that quite handy. So I'm going to type M. Much to our surprise, nothing happens yet. That'll happen later. So then it says select faces to extract and you can indeed select individual faces. You cannot, however, enter in the all option to select all faces. You have to, in fact, use a crossing mode or a window mode. So I'm going to enter in C for crossing, select all the faces of the solid model, press enter to indicate I'm finished selecting, and then the move options begin. So enter base point here, and then a displacement point there. So now we have the original solid model here, and then the new copy which is made out of surfaces. And if you can see on the properties bar, it says surface face. And to uh, prove it's a surface, I'm going to do a section plane. You can see the solid model is solid inside, but the new copy made from surfaces is hollow inside. Mm -hmm. 